the book of Ruth, the second chapter of Ruth, the, then Boaz asked his foreman, who is that girl over there? The moment when he saw her amongst the workers, the moment when he saw that stranger, the foreigner there on his farm, she found favor with him. And I want to talk to you uh, today about favor. Favor is so, so important. If we have favor, we have a we have everything actually because with fiber you can go far. Fiber can open doors for you. Yeah, um, and what is fiber? Fiber means acceptance. And so easily when we, we step into a room, when we step into, um, in, um, in the, in, in a, into a crowd of people or uh, into a new place that we've never been before, we know that we know we are highly favored here or we are not really very famous in this place. You can feel it in your spirit. So favor means acceptance and immediately, immediately you can feel the acceptance. And favor means goodwill, meaning that's that kindly feeling of approval and support. What an amazing feeling when you know that you know that you have favor here and that, that kindly feeling and approval and support is present. A preferential treatment. A favor opens doors for us. Favor opens doors you are not supposed to walk through. And let me tell you this morning, if God opens the door, the door for you, nobody can close it because he has decided long ago what he's going to do in your life. And you have favor with the king this morning. It's because you found favor that you can walk through a door that you're not supposed to walk through. You know, a few years ago, I studied the book Song of Songs. And last night I saw a note in my Bible next to Song of Songs 1 verse 6. Um, and I wrote in my, in, in my writing, I wrote this. She felt the full power of divine grace upon her and her imperfections appeared to be destroyed. Favor is not only an open door. The moment when you feel the acceptance and the kind of feeling of approval and support, your imperfections disappear. You're not aware of your weaknesses anymore. The kind of feeling of acceptance and support change you into a person with boldness and authority. The moment when you feel acceptance, the moment when you feel that, that, that love, you know, then you, you, you're another person. You don't, you're not aware of your weaknesses anymore. But when the Moabite women met this healthy and wealthy influential man in Bethlehem, she knew that she had favor with him. Because I've just said, you feel that, that feeling of kindness. You get, you, you're aware of that feeling of acceptance, no matter who you are, no matter where you came from, no matter what you have done before, no matter what your past must be this morning. No, it is because you have favor that you will forget about it. It will give you authority and boldness. It will make you feel that you can come to the front now because you are accepted. And when the Moabite woman met this wealthy man, she knew she had favor with him. In the book of second, in the second chapter of the book of Ruth, when Boaz arrived on the farm and he asked, "Who is that that girl over over there?" He had immediately, immediately, he found acceptance for this woman on the inside of him, and he had favor. He, he, he had favor. He had a feeling of kindness towards that stranger, that woman. And verse 10 said, she realized that she found favor with Boaz when she said, why are you being so kind to me, even though I am only a foreigner? She picked it up. She discerned it. In verse 13, Ruth said, you have comforted me by speaking so kindly to me, even though I am not as worthy as your workers. You see, favor makes a difference. 
fiber gives you preferential treatment no matter who you are and no matter from where you came from we are all carriers of fiber this morning my friend we all have the fiber of God in our lives this morning I'm talking not about the physical fiber yes it is important when you stop step into the into the courtroom you will have fiber when you step into um, your boss's office you will experience but you have fiber today the reason why I called you in is to to uplift you to upgrade you to compliment you you know that you have fiber but the most in fiber that we need this morning is fiber with God fiber with the king we need that we are desperate for fiber this morning I always pray Lord Lord I need your fiber I need your love your grace and your mercy what is fiber fiber is grace and what is grace? Grace is favor. Grace is, uh, it doesn't matter whether you deserve it or not. It doesn't matter whether, whether you deserve this favor. It is unmerited favor that you have when, when grace is upon you. When favor is upon you, you must know sometimes it's really unmerited favor. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve the favor of the Lord. You don't deserve it because you're a sinner. But this favorable eye is upon you this morning. She knew that she had favor with Boaz. She knew it. You know, and I want to talk to you about favor and about only you can make it happen. You see, to reach fiber, to, to activate the fiber that you picked up the, to, and you have discerned it, to activate it, you must come closer. Don't run away now, then you will not receive the fiber or see the manifested fiber that you have just experienced. Don't run away now. Now you must come closer. Now you must come closer to the person so that you can connect with him. So you see what fiber actually is. It is preparation. And with your preparations comes the moment. And that the, with the moment comes the favor, the manifested favor in your life that you've been waiting for so long. Now this woman, she listened to the voice of her, of her mother-in-law. And her mother-in-law said, I picked up that you have favor. That's my own words now. I picked up, I sense that you have favor with this man. Now listen to me what I'm telling you. Listen carefully and just do what I'm telling you to do. Go and prepare yourself tonight. And what she had to do, first of all, she had to wash herself. You see, my friend, you need, if you need the favor of God, if you want to activate the favor of God in your life, you have to start washing you with the water of your word. Because the water of the word will prepare you for the next step. The water of the word will cleanse you. The water of the word will forgive you for whatever you have done. The water of the word will make you clean, clean whiter than snow his blood washes us whiter than snow so use the water of the word to make you bold and strong because you know what it was not easy for this woman Ruth or this young girl as Boaz said um, but she was a woman she was a widow and um, it, it cost her a price to go and get closer to Boaz you see, that's why she had to prepare her. She prepared all her iniquities was washed away. She prepared herself to be white as snow. And now she had to dress her. Dress, put on that new cloak this morning. Took on that, put on that new cloak of boldness. Put on that new cloak of humanity. Put on that new cloak this morning of righteousness. And then she had to use perfume. Perfume? Yes. Use the sweet rose of Sharon. You can use Jesus. The more you speak of Jesus, the more you study the Word, the more you get closer to Him, the more you spend time with Him, 
You, you will become like him. You will smell like him. You will speak like him. You will act like him. You will walk and talk like him. And that is my Jesus. So yes, you need to spend some time um, in your loneliness, in your inner in a room, in your closet. You have to spend some time so that you can see the manifested favor of God in your life. And she 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 was so obedient to the voice of her of her mother-in-law. And as she was so obedient, we have to be obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit talking to us this morning. Put on your righteousness, put on the perfume of God, and my friend. Start washing yourself so that you can be, become clean. Ask forgiveness for your sin. Repent of the things that you have done because you want the favor of God in your life. And the next step that she had to do, she, she must, uh, in the night when it was dark, she went closer to him. She went so close on the threshing floor she watched him, she checked him where he was sleeping and she slipped into that place where he was sleeping. I don't know if it was a tent or what it was. And at the feet, she laid down. Listen, the next step is get closer to Jesus. Lay down at his feet. And the moment when he were aware of her that there was a stranger or somebody or someone else in this room, he experienced it was Ruth and he said to her and she said to him cover me with a corner cover me with a corner of your mantle Jesus cover me with a corner of your robe this morning cover me this morning I want to stay at your feet I don't want to leave this place this morning until you have blessed me and until I have received favor. Listen, Boaz. Listen, Jesus. I have prepared myself for this moment. And now I am sure that you will bless me, that I will see the manifested favor of the Lord in my life after today. The divine favor was Ruth secret when she entered the threshing floor she knew that she had favor it was not necessary for her to fear because she knew she had favor with this man and this was her secret a divine secret a divine secret that she already the first time when he saw her that day when he entered um, uh, the farm and he looked down amongst the workers and he saw that woman she knew that she received favor this was his secret and this morning you can go to the feet of Jesus this morning you can go back to the threshing floor you can bow down low at his feet just lay down there because you have favor with him you, he already favored you when he saw you the first day. So Boaz noticed that she was there and she replied, spread the corner of your covering over me for you are my family redeemer. Lord Jesus, you are my redeemer. Spray your cloak over me. Spray your mantle over me. Don't worry about anything he said to her. That is in Ruth 3 verse 11. Boaz said to her, don't worry about anything. My daughter, I will do what is necessary for everyone in town knows you are an honorable woman. Because of the obedience of the voice of a mother-in-law, because therefore Ruth knew that she knew that she had favor with Boaz. She followed the necessary steps by preparing herself to lay down at his feet. When preparation meets opportunity, a manifestation of his favor will definitely happen, that is for sure. And there on the farm of Boaz in Bethlehem, she found manifested favor with him. And the most beautiful love story was written on the farm of Boaz in, in Bethlehem. I have a message for you, just keep on listening. I know it sounds like a, a, a story, but listen, I have a message for you this morning, just keep on listening. Many years later, on the same farm in Bethlehem, the farm of Boaz 
called the shepherd's fields. There was an announcement to the shepherds. Luke 2 verse 8, suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared among them, shepherds, and said, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim you the good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David a Savior has been born for you who is the, for you for, who is the Messiah and the Lord. Another love story. The best love story ever was written on that night on the same place. And Boaz farm, then it was the shepherd's fields many generations after that. On that day on the same farm, the most beautiful love story was written for us. The one who gives us favor was born on that day. The message, my message to you this morning is... You are the carrier of God's favor. Favor means acceptance. Favor means favor takes from you from survival to overflow. She came as a nothing on the farm, but she ended up from survival to overflow. In the book of Gen Esther 5 verse 3, the king, the king asked, What do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given to you even if it is the half of my kingdom. Favor brings a feeling of kindness and support. And he said to her, what, it is, what is this that you want from me? Even if it is the half of my kingdom, it will be given unto you. That is favor with the king. She found favor with the king. Yes, favor makes you bold. Favor opens doors that you're not supposed to walk through, my friend. Favor is God's grace upon your life. There's only one condition this morning. Only one. Prepare yourself for your meeting with Jesus. Wash yourself in the water of His Word. Dress yourself again in your, in your cloak of righteousness and smell like Jesus. Use the perfume of the sweet rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley. Go down to the threshing floor where you will find your Redeemer. Lay down at His feet and let Him cover you with the corner of His mantle. Favor is what happens when preparation meets the opportunity and only you can make it happen. And I know that I said the previous time that we all have choices in life. And I talked about forgiveness and I said, you have the opportunity to forgive and you can make choices, choose to forgive or choose not to forgive. Choose to go back to the threshing floor today or to go on with your life without favor. You see, we are already in the month of October, almost the mid of October. And if you could hardly come through this year of the open doors. How much more? Or how hard it, or how, how hard will it be to go or enter the year of the open window if you couldn't get through the year of the open door? We need God's favor. We're living in the last of the last moments before the return of Jesus Christ. And are you ready? So my friend, I can give you some advice this morning. Turn around, make a U-turn and return to the threshing floor where Jesus is waiting for you. Go lay down and he's at his feet. And ask him to cover you with the corner of his mantle. That's all what we need today is God's favor. God's mercy says, no, I will not let you go. Grace says, you have unmerited favor, but just come closer. 
You will not receive that favor. You will not see anything happening in your life if you don't come closer today. The Lord is speaking this morning. He's talking. The Holy Spirit is busy with you. Make a U-turn, my friend. Favor says, don't worry about anything, my daughter or my son. I will do what is necessary for you. Isn't that beautiful? Can I repeat it? Favor says, don't worry about anything, my son or my daughter. I will do what is necessary. And what is grace? The meaning of grace is unmerited favor. You don't deserve it, but you have it. And only you can activate favor by laying down at your Redeemer's feet. Favor, favor will lead you into abundance. Favor will lead you into a new life. Let's listen and be faithful to the voice of the Holy Spirit this morning. God is present in this room and I know where you are, He is present. May you have a lovely, a blessed and an awesome week. Until we meet again, Amen.